Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen and to eating memories. This is the first video I'm going to be making and today I'm going to talk to you about a recipe for biscuits. So we're going to call this series and this memory O oh, Biscuits. And you know, one of the things that I think is super important is how you're making memories um, as you move through life. And uh, this is a recipe that I make with my kids typically. Um, I love this recipe because it's no fuss. Uh, I can't take credit for it. I learned it from a television show called America's Test Kitchen, and it's a recipe that they have in their cookbook. Um, but we love it because it's something that each of the kids can equally get involved in, and it doesn't take any time at all. Uh, my opinion, if you ask me, it's quicker than your typical box recipe. So without further ado, here we go. So let's talk today about the tools you're going to need for this recipe. First tool you're going to need, one large bowl. You're going to need a measuring cup for liquids that does at least two cups of measurement. This one that I have here does four. You're going to need one measuring cup that does one cup, one that does a one-third cup, and you're going to need a set of measuring spoons up to tablespoon in size down to a quarter table or a quarter teaspoon in size. Last but not least, a baking pan. It's pretty simple, not too many tools that you need. Ingredients wise, you're gonna need flour, sugar, baking powder, baking soda, salt, some cooking spray, and in the refrigerator I have some heavy cream. Okay. So that's all you need for this recipe. So let's go ahead and get cooking. First thing, you're gonna take your measuring cup. You're gonna go into your flour and you're just gonna lightly measure it off. It's okay if it's not exact. You're gonna do three cups of flour here. So with my kids, what we do is I've got two girls. I do one and they each get to do one. And that's how we combine together and make these biscuits at our house. Okay. So three cups of flour. Next, you're going to grab your measuring spoons. You're going to find the teaspoon here, and you need to do four teaspoons of sugar. Again, in my house, I get to make these with my girls, and so we each take turns putting these into the bowl. So four teaspoons of sugar. Okay. Then you're going to do a tablespoon of baking powder. So I typically let one of my girls do the baking powder. And then I let the other one do the baking soda. Uh, baking soda, we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon. So again, I'm just going through my measuring spoons here. Right on down the line. Get that all stuck out here. Quarter teaspoon here. And then one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. So one does the baking powder, one does the baking soda. I do the salt because, well, I don't want too much salt in. So there's a quarter. And then we just go back to the one. That in. And the last ingredient that we are gonna need is our cream. Now, the cream is the key ingredient to this recipe. It is what makes it no fuss. So you don't have to sit here and crack eggs. You don't have to measure oil and add it in. You don't have to scoop into a box with your large measuring cup that doesn't fit. All you're going to do is you're going to go grab your cream from your refrigerator. And pour two cups straight into your liquid measuring cup. So I've got my two cup marker here. And you're going to put it in the microwave. 90 seconds in the microwave. Okay, the reason why we do that is because what happens with the cream is it's got a lot of fat in it. And what we want to do is we want to warm up that fat so that it then incorporates into this mixture. 
And as it incorporates into this mixture, it will keep your biscuits from becoming one big glob and being too melted, but it'll actually let it bind together. It'll separate out the butter fat enough in the cream to let it bind together. So once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate it in here. I'm gonna grab a mixing spoon and we're just gonna mix it all together. Okay, you guys, so the cream is finished in the microwave and I've just grabbed a quick uh, mixing spoon. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this cream right into this mixture, okay? There's nothing fancy about it, it's super easy. Got that poured in and I'm gonna mix this around. You don't have to be gentle, just give it a good stir until it all combines. Uh, you don't have to worry about over mixing this not one of those fussy recipes. Just mix it until it's incorporated. Uh, my girls like to stir this in. And again, they can't harm it. They can't wreck it. They can't ruin it. It doesn't flop. Just get it all combined in. There's nothing delicate about this process. You'll see that's it, it's incorporated in. So once you've got it all incorporated, again, it looks like that, you're gonna take your cooking spray, give it a good shake, spray your baking pan. And now would be a good time to turn on the oven if you haven't turned it on yet. Again, timing is not a big deal on this recipe. So if you haven't turned it on, turn it on and preheat it to 450 degrees, okay? I'm gonna spray both the baking pan and my one third measuring cup. So give that a spray. I like to do it over the baking pan so that way if you have anything that goes outside, it's on the baking pan already. You're not making a huge mess. And you're not gonna have to roll this dough. So I'm not gonna tell you dump this out, put a bunch of flour out, roll the dough. No way, that's too hard. Simply gonna take your measuring cup and you're gonna scoop out a biscuit. Doesn't have to be exact, but this is gonna be your biscuit. And you're gonna plop it right onto your tray. Looks like that, looks like a biscuit already. So you're gonna plop it onto your tray, kind of position it apart. And this recipe will give you about eight or nine biscuits, usually in our house. It gets about eight equal biscuits and you just keep scooping. So you have kiddos in the house, they can help you with this. Again, it's easy if, if it starts to stick, too much, you can reapply your cooking spray, your nonstick cooking spray. But usually one application is enough in my measuring spoons to let it go through. If you get a little less on your biscuits, just make another batch, it's that quick. So I'm just gonna scoop this here, get all of the goodness up. I know it's a, uh, getting to be colder weather outside, so this is something that you could have sweet for breakfast. You could put some butter and jam on it. You could do savory and do biscuits and gravy. Now these aren't gonna spread too much in the oven, so I'm not worried about them spreading out to stick to each other. Let me get this last bit up here. You can do it for dinner and have it with some chicken or some vegetables. We raise our own chickens, so it's nice. I can just go out to my freezer and save money and grab a whole chicken to roast when I'm ready. That's it. These are ready. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. They're gonna bake on 450 for 12 minutes and then they're gonna be done. So I'll be back at you when they're ready. Twelve minutes has passed. I'm just gonna reach up here, turn that off because I no longer need it. Pour these out, and now is a good time if you like butter. If you're doing these, um, you want to have some butter on them. You can actually take some butter and you can spread it on the top, make them ooey and gooey. I like butter on the top of them. 
I also like butter inside. And these are going to be hot, so after you put some butter on them, let them cool a little bit before you handle them because, again, they're straight out of the oven. And I'll be back in just a minute after these have cooled to show you what they look like on the inside. Okay, so these have cooled for about two, three minutes. Um, they're now no longer too hot to burn my fingers. So I'm just gonna pull this biscuit up here and you can use your knife, but they'll generally split apart with your hands. And look at that yummy goodness. And you've got yourself a perfectly made flaky, fluffy biscuit that took no longer than the box mix and was much better for you. Thank you guys for checking out my video today. If you liked it, if you learned something from it, go ahead and put your information and thoughts in the comments and uh, I hope that you enjoy your biscuits. Thanks for making a memory with me. Take care.